Let's look at creating uh, features. Um, just quickly summarize, we have within our database uh, three layers, <coughs> points, lines, and uh, polygons. We'll start by editing the points layer, um, adding some trees. So here we have our, our tree layer here, and here we have an area, quite an interesting area. Um, this is, I've never actually visited it, but uh, it looks very interesting. We've got lots of meanders here besides the point. Let's just get on with editing, and I'm going to create some trees, and I think we'll zoom into this area around here. And there are some trees, and I'm going to uh, add the tree object into this layer. Um, if we go up to Edit up here, click on Edit, and then Create. And it gives us the, the layers that are active uh, in our database. And we want the trees there. Now we could just start editing. You get this a bunch of tools up here to create a point or create a point using, there are some geometric tools here for getting out a point from uh, details of other objects, but we don't have any other objects for the moment, so let's not bother with those. Let's just add point. Now we could just, we're already there, we could just put in a tree. So there's a tree. What sort of tree is it? It probably, yeah, and we can, let's just add a tree there um, and then add another tree there. And then we think to ourselves, oh, hang on, but what trees are they? Well, in Create Features here, if we click on this blue arrow, here we access the, the attributes, the, the, um, the column headers. And we can say, well, the next one I'm going to create, that's actually going to be, have we worked out our type codes? We didn't sit down and actually think about what exists in this image. We didn't plan ahead. Uh, certainly I haven't, or I have, but uh, we'll say I haven't. Um, so let's just um, add in a code here. This is going to be a deciduous tree. Deciduous. Um, fine. Okay, that's the information I have about it, and that's going to be the next object I create. It's going to be a deciduous tree. And if I click on that there, even though that probably isn't a deciduous tree, that looks more like a coniferous, but, you know, whatever. Uh, and then we'll click on that, and we'll click on that, and that definitely looks not very deciduous. So we've created these points, and if we go to our attribute table, look here, we can see that we have two trees that were created without uh, any kind of type text, and the remaining ones were created as deciduous trees. Now we could have gone back at any point and changed those, but we didn't. Um, and editing the attributes will come to in a separate video. But we've done that now, we've created these. That last one is blue because it's selected. By default, the, the last created object is always selected. We can click on clear. And then the most important thing to do now is to click on save up here. Not save there, but save here. So we click on save edits. And yes, so they have been saved.